tonight on KBC Channel One. What she told you, everything China. I do is in this family's best interest. If this is what it takes, Wanjala, to see that, <laughs> so be it. And Dad, Dad disowned me. It doesn't matter what he thought. A family is meant to stick together. This one doesn't. Do you have anything to do with King Otieno coming back into town? Who? King Otieno. You never get too comfortable with people being around. Kuros, Anjala. Anjala. He's off looking for his father again. Tonight on KBC Channel One for a program that is objective and offers answers to matters economic, security, social, political, food, infrastructure, and setting the agenda. Join us for Charging Currents. barabara kabisa mtazamaji na tumayo mzima mahali popote ulipo jioni ya leo ni fahari yangu kujumuika nawe kwenye darubini ya channel 1 jioni hii ya tarehe 22 mwezi Oktoba mwaka wa 2020 na, na ni siku ambayo Kenya imenakili visa vya juu zaidi vya maambukizi ya ugonjwa wa corona hapa nchini baada ya watu 1168 na kuambukizwa Uh, ugonjwa huu huo kando na hayo mtazamaji tumekuandalia taarifa pia kuhusiana na mbunge wa Malindi Aisha Jumwa ambaye atasalia korokoroni kusubiri uamuzi wa mahakama hapo kesho uh, kuhusiana na kuachiliwa kwake kwa dhamana mtazamaji ni mengi tuliokuandalia jioni ya leo lakini kwanza kabisa hebu nikupe vidokezo Sini na vinane vipya vya maambukizi ya virusi vya corona baada ya sampuli 1756 kupimwa. Asante. Tunasema tunataka wakenya wote wakuje pamoja tufanye yale ambayo italetea kila mkenya haki pahali popote alipo. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta awasuta wale wanaopotosha wananchi kuwa mapendekezo ya ripoti ya BBI hayahitaji marekebisho ya katiba. Na mbunge wa Malindi Aisha Jumwa na mlinzi wake kusalia korokoroni hadi kesho kusubiri uamuzi kuhusu ombi lao la dhamana. Karibu mtazamaji kwa taarifa hizo na nyinginezo hapa kwenye darubini ya Channel 1 tumekuandalia mengi zaidi. Fuatilie taarifa hizi pia kupitia mtandao wa Twitter at KBC Channel 1 na at Betty Gatonye. Nitoa maoni yako hapo nitakuwa nikiyapitia wakati darubini ikisonga mbele. Naitwa Beatrice Gatonye Ngetich, mtangazaji wa ishara jioni ya leo ni Lensa Odingo. Karibu. Naam, serikali imehimiza kuwepo kwa juhudi za pamoja katika kudhibiti msambao wa COVID-19 humu nchini. Waziri wa Habari, Teknolojia na Mawasiliano Jomo Sharo amewasifia wadau ambao wanashirikiana na serikali katika juhudi za kuzuia maambukizi ya ugonjwa huo. 
Miezi minane tangu serikali ilipotangaza kuwepo kwa kisa cha kwanza cha COVID-19 humo nchini, serikali imepiga hatua kubwa kudhibiti maambukizi ya ugonjwa huo na kuepusha maafa zaidi. Notwithstanding the tremendous pressures placed on us by COVID-19, we are better off and stronger for it is a nation in numerous ways. There are many silver linings to our coronavirus experience that we should be grateful for. Foremost, the fact that thus far the pandemic has not descended on us as an apocalyptic manner that had been predicted despite the market recent spikes that we need to be aware of. Akiongea wakati wa ufunguzi wa kongamano kuhusu mbinu za kukabiliana na ugonjwa huo humo nchini, Waziri wa Habari, Teknolojia na Mawasiliano Jo Mushiru alisema licha ya changamoto nyingi zilizoko, serikali imechukua hatua madhubiti na kukabiliana na janga hilo. Alihimiza ushirikiano ili kukomesha msambao wa ugonjwa huu. We must also acknowledge and appreciate that despite a myriad of challenges, Kenya has by and large contained the spread of COVID-19 and its attendant devastation quite remarkably. Perhaps critical to our response was the all-government approach in the response, with leadership from the top by none other than His Excellency the President himself. Though led by the government, is by no means a fight by the government alone, but rather a holistic societal engagement that has at its center the individual response. Mushiru alisema hatua zilizochukuliwa na serikali za kukabiliana na maambukizi ya COVID-19 zimechangia pakubwa juhudi za serikali za kufikia lengo lake la utoaji huduma bora za matibabu kwa wote. When we reflect on our journey with COVID-19 for one day we shall we will be able to record the positive impact of these measures that have not only our ongoing efforts to achieve universal health coverage but also on the tangible difference that have had that we've had on our overall health status akiunga mkono maoni hayo katibu mwandamizi wa wizara ya afya dr masi mwangangi aliwapongeza watu wa kujitolea wa hudumu wa afya na asasi za serikali na za binafsi kwa kushirikiana kupambana na janga la COVID-19. Mwangangi alisema Wizara ya Afya imeongeza juhudi za kupima ugonjwa huo humu nchini bali na kuajiri wa hudumu zaidi wa afya ili kukabiliana na hali hiyo. Testing remains one of the key measures of, of managing COVID-19 and yes there have been challenges. We've shared with you the challenges when it comes to the global supply chains of these tests challenges when it comes to different embargoes that have been put in some of the producing uh, producing companies of this um, you know uh, reagents or kits and so what we're seeing is that as opposed to going widely and you know testing everyone the message still remains that we need to adopt a targeted testing approach because we know this is a resource that will continue to be constrained even as we go to the future the test should be employed in a point where you need so for example i may not come round and test all of us who are here today however if you're presenting to me in a hospital and you have difficulty in breathing then perhaps i need to test you so that i can be able to ensure that you get the proper care that you need as opposed to ensure, you know going round and testing everyone and this is really the approach that we are thinking about niki reporti darubini ya channel 1 mimi ni emily k badi Emily K. Baadhi ya sante sana kwa taarifa hiyo. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amewakosoa wakosoaji wa ripoti ya BBI wanaodai kwamba utekelezaji mapendekezo yake hauhitaji marekebisho ya katiba. Akikariri kwamba baadhi ya mapendekezo hayo yanaweza kutekelezwa kupitia sheria za bunge, Rais Kenyatta hata hivyo alikariri kwamba marekebisho ya katiba yanahitajika ili kuafikia suluhisho la kudumu. Alisema hayo alipozuru miradi mbalimbali mbali ya maendeleo katika kaunti ya Kisumu akiendamana na kiongozi chama cha ODM Raila Odinga ambaye alisema ripoti ya BBI itafanikisha chaguzi za amani na kuliwezesha taifa hili kukabiliana na ufisadi. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliendelea na ziara yake eneo la Nyanza ambapo alikutana na viongozi wa kidini na wa kisiasa kabla ya kutembelea miradi mbalimbali mbali ya maendeleo akiandamana na kiongozi wa chama cha ODM Raila Odinga Rais 
Kenyatta alizuru mradi wa gharama ya shilingi bilioni 1.4 wa karabati wa uwanja wa michezo wa Jomo Kenyatta na soko la uhuru lilojengwa kwa hudumia wachuuzi waliofurushwa ufuoni ili kutoa fursa ya ujenzi wa bandari ya Kisumu. Hata hivyo semi kuhusu ripoti ya BBI iliyotolewa hapo jana zilisheheni ziara hiyo huku rais akiwa suta wanaopinga mapendekezo yake na azma amerekebisha katiba. Ile dawa ambayo mimi na ndugu yangu Raila tulikuwa tunatafuta sio hii ya kupatia mtu pango na akona malaria. Tunaelewana? Kama tunataka kubadilisha lazima tujumuishe mambo haya yote tubadilishe pamoja na ndio mwili upone. Au ni namna gani? Eh? Sili namna hiyo. Huwezi kusema ati kwanza kwa sababu na humo na kichwa wacha nikunywe Panadol. Malaria ukitaka kuitoa kuna dawa ya malaria. Na hiyo ndiyo tunasema tunataka kutoa ugonjwa ambao uko katika mwili wa Kenya ukiwa wote. Rais alisema pindi itakapoidhinishwa na bunge ripoti hiyo itatoa suluhu kwa changamoto nyingi zazo wakumba wa Kenya. Tukisema ya kwamba tunataka kutafuta njia ya kutimiza ile tusa gender rule kwa sababu ile iko sasa imekushinda kuna shida kuna shida eh tukisema tunataka kuwe na fundi ya kusaidia vijana na iwe ndani ya katiba na kuhakikisha ya kwamba vijana wetu wakianzisha biashara zao wanaweza kupata mikopo kuna shida ili watu wetu waweze kupata njia ya kutengeneza mali watajirike vijana wapewe fursa ya kutengeneza mali sasa sasa pale ndani ya BBI mmesema ya kwamba mtu akifanya biashara na serikali alikuwa ndani ya miezi miwili aendelee na biashara yake Rais aliwahimiza viongozi kuunga mkono ripoti hiyo. Kama tunapenda nchi yetu, jameni tuweke ambisho zetu chini kidogo na sio kusema ya kwamba tunapinga mtu yeyote. Tunasema tunataka wakenya wote wakuje pamoja tufanye yale ambayo italetea kila mkenya haki pahali popote alipo. Na kwa mara ya kwanza rais alimsifia kiongozi wa chama cha ODM Raila Odinga kwa kudumisha azimio la maridhiano kati yao Achola Simon nikiripoti ya Rubini ya Channel 1 kutoka kaunti ya Kisumu Wabunge wanaounga mkono mpango wa maridhiano ya kitaifa BBI wanawahimiza wa Kenya kusoma kwa makini ripoti iliyotolewa hapo jana na waweze kufanya uamuzi wa busara bila kuhadaiwa kisiasa. Wakiongozwa na kiongozi wa walio wengi katika bunge la kitaifa Amos Kimunya, wabunge hao wametoa wito kwa wakenya wasikubali kupotoshwa na wanasiasa kuhusu yaliyomo kwenye ripoti ya BBI bali waisome kwa makini na kuielewa. Hayo yanajiri huku wabunge kadhaa wanawake wa kitilia shaka utaratibu uliotumiwa kupunguza viti vya uwakilishi wa wanawake katika bunge la kitaifa Huku wa Kenya wakisubiri uzinduzi rasmi wa ripoti ya BBI Jumatatu ijayo wabunge wanaunga mkono mpango wa maridhiano kati ya rais na viongozi wa upinzani wanataka kila mkenya ajisomee mwenyewe ripoti hiyo As you all read you be able to see the linkage between the views that were expressed before bombers the report that came in bombers the views that were expressed in the validation process and how they have all been captured in the final report so read ask questions and then make up your mind let us read the report you know page after page and uh, we establish that uh, this is actually what we have been uh, waiting for because it is an inclusive process that seeks to leave uh, no one behind to read the report internalize it make your own informed decision don't be misled by the social media or other groups that have vested interest at the end of the day every kenyan will make an will make an informed decision wakiongozwa na kiongozi walio wengi katika bunge la kitaifa Amos Kimunya wabunge hao mawashtumu wale wanaopinga ripoti hiyo kwa kueneza propaganda ya kuwapotosha wa Kenya waikatalie mbali wanasema ripoti hiyo inapendekeza jinsi ya kusuluhisha matatizo ya kisiasa na kiuchumi huku nchini 
we urge Kenyans to look at the report from a selfish perspective. As you read through and discuss it, wherever you are at home, at the workplace, or in social places, ask yourself, what's in it for me? We, as the readers, the people of Meru, will not support the BPI report blindly. We shall read it in detail and make an informed decision as to whether or not to fully support its contents. Viongozi wa bunge la Senate wakiongoza na kiranja wa walio wengi katika bunge hilo Irungu Kangata wameipongeza ripoti ya BBI wakisema inakusudia kuimarisha ugatuzi kwa kuongeza mgao wa pesa kwa serikali za county kwa nominate tukiwa pale hauna nafasi yako ya kuongea ama ya kupika unaitwa delegation so kwa sasa kama mtu atakuchakua ama kama utachakuliwa na itakuwa must tuchakua 47 that means 94 senators kuwakilisha na nyasi fa, uh, za uh, wa, 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 wanawake na wanaume kwa senate mimi nimefurahia nafasi kabisa wabunge wanawake wa county hata hivyo wanalalamikia pendekezo la kupunguza nyasi za wawakilishi wanawake katika bunge la kitaifa na kuandishwa kwa nyasi 40 saba za maseneta wanawake naye mbunge wa kaunti ya Laikipia Catherine Waruguru anayunga mkono ripoti ya BBI akisema itahakikisha usawa katika sekta zote huku mwenzake wa Muranga Sabina Chege akiitaka ripoti hiyo ieleze jinsi usawa wa kijinsia utakavyopatikana katika bunge la kitaifa Nasema Senate ni vizuri wamekuwa na formula ambayo imekuwa sasa 100% imekuwa 50-50. Na pia ile ya deputy governors tunafurahia sana ya kwamba watakuwa wa jinsia tofauti. Governor akiwa mama, deputy wake wa, 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 wa kiume. Lakini hii maneno ya women rep kuondolewa kwenye, uh, kwenye National Assembly sio jambo nzuri. Story ya watu wanapewa nominations tumekubaliana hiyo tutatoa na tunataka kuona vyama zetu kama zina comply maneno ya party list inapelekwa kama ile wa mama ambao wamengangania kule wamejitahidi kukua kwa uongozi wakipatia upao mbele ya kuweza kukua nurtured and mentored ndio tuweze ku increase idadi ya wanawake Tazamaji taarifa hiyo ina tutamatishia awamu ya kwanza ya darubini ya channel 1 na muona amaganga Mustafa unasema kazi nzuri na mimi nasema asante sana kwa kutazama Richard uh, Papa Equaro Dr unasema unatazama ukiwa maeneo ya waruku Kangemi na unasema kwamba visa vya COVID-19 vitaendelea kuongezeka huku uh, kufuatia mikutano ya kisiasa ambayo inaonekana kuendelea humo nchini endelea kutoa maoni yako kufuatia taarifa ambazo tunakuletea jioni ya leo kupitia mtandao wa Twitter at KBC channel 1 na at Betty Gatonye kwa sasa naelekea kwenye mapumziko nikirejea ni taarifa zaidi Eight time CAF Champions League winner Salah of Egypt inched closer to qualifying for the finals of the prestigious cup when they humbled twice champions by Dad Casablanca by two goals at 2-0 in the first leg semi-final encounter played last Saturday in Morocco. You got to be careful. Oh, it's an easy chance. This is one on one with the goalkeeper. It's in the back of the net. There's your goal. goal to make it 2-0 for Ali Ali Malou. He slots it in, blasts into the corner. This Friday, the 23rd of October 2020, Al Ahly hosts Wydad in the second leg semi-final clash. The match kicks off at 10 p.m. Catch the action live on KBC Channel 1, your true sports partner. Tonight on KBC Channel 1. What has been said about the national youth service granted but president uhuru kenyatta's quest for this institution to be a center that nurtures the youth of this country to serve their nation remains grounded the president uh, told us clearly there will never be an nys3 giving opportunity Ninashukuru Mungu without NYS nisingekuwa ninajua kufanya hizi vitu zenye mnaziona mbele yenu. Living a positive mark. Yeah, I've been taught to do everything in a garment. Watch it on Thursday at 8:30 p.m. 
Jumapili hii kwenye runinga ya KBC ungana naye askofu Michael Wanderi wa kanisa la Christian Foundation Fellowship Kiambu kuanzia saa moja hadi saa mbili asubuhi Ningataka nikwambie our Jehovah God because the Bible says he is the same yesterday today and forevermore he is able to take you to a place of abundance he is able to take you to Rehoboth in the name of Jesus Christ Kipindi ni neno la neema ukiletewa naye askofu Michael Wanderi wa kanisa la Christian Foundation Fellowship Kiambu usikose my trust is in you karibu tena mtazamaji unaendelea kutazama darubini ya channel 1 jioni ya leo tuelekee mahakamani mbunge wa Malindi Aisha Jumwa atakesha korokoroni kwa mara nyingine kusubiri kusikilizwa kwa ombi lake la kuachiliwa kwa dhamana hapo kesho Jumwa pamoja na mlinzi wake Geoffrey Otieno walikanusha mashtaka ya mauaji lakini mahakama ikaahirisha kikao cha kusikilizwa kwa ombi lao la kuachiliwa kwa dhamana Jumwa ametuhumiwa kwa mauaji ya Gumbao Jola wakati wa kampeni za uchaguzi mdogo wa wadi ya Ganda mwaka wa na tisa. Mahakama iliagiza kwamba Juma azuiliwe korokoroni hadi kesho wakati ambako ombi lake la kuachiliwa kwa dhamana litakaposikilizwa. Kikao cha mahakama kilisitishwa kwa saa mbili leo baada ya upande wa mashtaka kushindwa kuwasilisha ripoti ya uchunguzi wa kiakili wa mshukiwa mwenza wa Juma Geoffrey Otieno. Na baada ya saa mbili washukiwa walikanusha shtaka la mauaji na mawakili wao wakataka waachiliwe kwa dhamana. Hata hivyo upande wa mashtaka uliwasilisha hati ya kiapo kupinga kuachiliwa kwa wawili hao kwa madai kwamba mbunge huyo atatishia maisha ya mashahidi madai yaliyopingwa na mawakili wa washtakiwa if there she was to interfere she had a complete year to do so but as of now there is completely no suggestion of any single witness contacted or approached by her or her relative it is a confirmation that in fact she has refrained from attempting to approach the victims or witnesses ombi ila kuachiliwa kwa jumu na utieno kwa dhamana litasikilizwa hapo kesho kwingineko washukiwa wa ugaidi waliopatikana na hatia ya kushiriki katika shambulizi la kigaidi kwenye jumba la Westgate jijini Nairobi mnamo mwaka 2013 watasubiri hadi tarehe 30 mwezi huu kujua hatima yao kikao cha kutoa hukumu kile kikao cha kutoa hukumu kiliahirishwa baada ya upande wa mashtaka kukosa kuwasilisha ripoti ya afisa au rekebishaji tabia hakimu mkuu mfrazi hakimu mkuu Francis Andai aidha alitaka uchunguzi kufanywa kubainisha aliko Abdullahi Umar ambaye alihusishwa na kesi hiyo lakini akaachiliwa kutokana na ukosefu wa ushahidi wa kutosha if i told this incident is true then i think it is time that the issue is taken up by the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights for investigations on the truth or otherwise because what is happening would be dangerous to all of us who are involved in this i'm urging the investigators to go to the root and find out what is happening even as the Kenya National Commission of Human Rights if it accepts takes up this matter because it is not a matter that i think should be taken lightly Mushowe gavana wa kaunti ya Meru Kiraitu Murungi ameondoa rufaa aliyowasilisha mahakamani dhidi ya mbunge wa bunge la Afrika Mashariki Mpuru wa Buri kwa madai ya kumchafulia jina. Murungi aliondoa rufaa hiyo wakati ya Buri alipokuwa akiwasilisha hati ya kiapo ya kutaka mahakama ilitupilie mbali na kumlipa gharama ya kesi. Isufar, Darubini ya Channel 1. Karibu sasa mtazamaji, tuangazie taarifa za biashara na kisha hapo baadaye nitakuwa nikikuletea spoti. Wakulima wa mpunga kwenye kaunti ndogo ya Nyatike sasa wamepata afueni baada ya serikali kuimarisha ununuzi wa mazao yao. Shirika la kitaifa kuhusu biashara liliazimia kununua tani sita kila wiki za mchele uliochambuliwa kwa lengo la kuimarisha uwezo wa kukuza zao hilo. 
Maelezo zaidi kuhusu ripoti hiyo na nyingine ni katika mseto wa taarifa zetu za biashara. Hali ya kuponjwa na wafanyabiashara wakati imekuwa kero kuu kwa wakulima. Serikali kupitia kwa shirika la kitaifa kuhusu biashara imeazimia kununua mchele kutoka kwa wakulima hao wa eneo la Sagama ambao wamekuwa wakitegemea mpango wa kilimo cha unyunyiziaji mashamba maji waloa kuja kwa kilimo cha mpunga. Kwa muda mrefu wakulima hao wamekuwa wakilalama kila msimu wa mavuno. Mpango wa kununua tani hamsini na sita za mchele kila wiki unalenga kuwalinda wakulima na kuongeza uzalishaji. Now that they have followed the procedures we are going to start taking their right. KNTC as a corporate as a corporation we are, we are not biased at all. We take rice from farmers as long as it meets the standard it meets what can to see want to sell to our client chini ya makubaliano hayo wakulima watakuwa wakichambua kutofautisha gradi za mchele na kupakia zao hilo kwenye magunia ya kilo hamsini kabla ya kuuzwa kwa shirika la kitaifa kuhusu biashara Kwingineko kundi la benki ya cooperative limetangaza faida ya shilingi bilioni 20.7 kabla ya kutozwa ushuru kwa kipindi cha matumizi ya fedha cha mwaka 2019 hilo likiwa ongezeko la asilimia 14 kwa kulinganisha na faida ya shilingi bilioni 18.2 mwaka 2018 Ijapo kulikuwa na changamoto nyingi. Wenye hisa wa benki hiyo waliidhinisha mgao wa faida ya shilingi moja kwa kila hisa. Kufuatia mwongozo wa halmashauri ya usimamizi wa masoko ya ubadilishanaji hisa CMA, mgao wa faida wa jumla ya shilingi bilioni 5.9 kwa kipindi cha mwaka 2019 ulitolewa mwezi Aprili mwaka huu. Chama cha ushirika cha Coop Holdings ambacho kinamiliki asilimia nne nukta tano ya hisa kilipokea mgao wa faida wa shilingi bilioni tatu nukta saba tisa. Hatimaye serikali kupitia kwa halmashauri ya teknolojia ya habari inaendeleza mipango ya kuweka kebo la mawasiliano ya umbali wa kilomita 630 ili kuhakikisha wakazi wa kaunti za Uasingishu, Pokot Magharibi na Turkana wameunganishwa kwenye mtandao kwa minajili ya kuboresha huduma. We are building a fiber Uh, 630 about 630 kilometers long from Eldoret to Nadapal which is near the border with South Sudan. Mradi huo unajumuisha sehemu mbili za ukarabati na ujenzi kamili ambao umetajwa kuwa kebo mmoja wapo kubwa zaidi ya mawasiliano hadi kwenye mpaka wa Sudan Kusini. Mradi huo utaleta mabadiliko katika huduma za internet kwenye kaunti mbalimbali mbali zikiwemo Wasingishu Pokot Magharibi na Turkana. Beti Kiptum, Erubini ya Channel 1. Time CAF Champions League winner Salah Kli of Egypt inched closer to qualifying for the finals of the prestigious cup when they humbled twice champions by Dad Casablanca by two goals at 2-0 in the first leg semi-final encounter played last Saturday in Morocco. You've got to be careful. Oh, it's an easy chance. This is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. It's in the back of the net. There's your goal. Goal to make it 2-0 for Ahali. Ali Malul, he slots it in, blasts into the corner. This Friday, the 23rd of October 2020, Al-Akhli hosts Waidad in the second leg semi-final clash. The match kicks off at 10 p.m. Catch the action live on KBC Channel 1, your true sports partner. Hai mtazamaji tuelekee viwanjani. Ujenzi wa uwanja wa kimataifa wa Jomo Kenyatta mjini Kisumu ulio na uwezo wa kuchukua uh, mashabiki 1020 ulizinduliwa rasmi leo na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Rais Kenyatta alisema ujenzi wa uwanja huo utakamilika mwezi Aprili mwaka ujao.
Tangazo la Rais Huru Kenyatta limeashiria mwanzo ujenzi wa uwanja kimataifa wa Jomo Kenyatta mjini Kisumu. Rais Kenyatta alisema kaunti ya Kisumu inajivunia historia kubwa kikafani ya michezo, hivyo basi ipo haja ya kuimarisha vifaa vya michezo. Yes. Eh. Yeah. Quality work much quality work. Yeah. Katika ahadi ambazo nilikuwa nimetoa tulikuwa tunasema tutajenga stadiums katika kila eneo ya jamhuri yetu ya Kenya kuhakikisha ya kwamba vijana wetu wako na facilities za kisasa ndio waweze kuinua talanta yao ambayo wamepatiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu Ujenzi wa uwanja huo ni ushirikiano kati ya kaunti ya Kisumu na serikali kuu katika jitihada za kuimarisha vifaa vya michezo. Kaunti ya Kisumu inajivunia talanta nyingi huku ikishirikisha timu katika ligi za taifa za raga, soka, hoki na mpira wa kikapu. Ujenzi wa uwanja wa kimataifa wa Jomo Kenyatta utagharimu shilingi milioni hamsini. Karanja David Darubini Michezo Aliyekuwa mwanachama wa kamati ya kitaifa ya shirikisho la soka humu nchini Tomalila amewasilisha rufaa katika mahakama kuu kupinga uchaguzi wa hivi majuzi wa shirikisho la FKF kulingana na Alila aliyeshindwa kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha kuwania wadha wa mwanachama wa kamati ya kitaifa tawi la Nairobi shughuli hiyo ilikumbwa na visa vya udanganyifu Alila pia alishtumu vikali kupigwa kalamu kwa kocha Francis Kimanzi na kuteuliwa kwa Jacob Ghost Mulei kuwa kocha mpya huku Harambe Stars kijiandaa kuchuana na Comoros kwenye mechi ya kufuzu kwa kombe la bara Afrika mwaka wa 2021 mwezi ujao. Mwendo alihifadhi wadha wake baada ya kujipatia kura 77 kati ya 88 naye Alila kashindwa na Morris Majua Ouma kwenye uwaniaji wa kiti cha mwanachama wa kamati ya kitaifa Tawi la Nairobi. We have put the evidence together and we are not going to go to SDT, we are not going to uh, go to appeal, we are going direct because I was, an, in, I was uh, uh, an interested party in those SDT ruling. Mchezaji Edson Audouard Atakosa mechi ya Celtic ya ligi ya Europa dhidi ya Vigogo Italia AC Milan uh, kwani anauguza virusi vya ama anaugua ugonjwa wa virusi vya corona tazama Asante sana mtazamaji taarifa za sporti zinatutamatishia darubini ya Channel 1 jioni ya leo Colin Stanley Ochumba asante sana kwa utazamaji wako DJ Richie 254 kutoka Trukana Lodwa unasema unatazama ukiwa maeneo hayo asante sana kwa kutazama darubini ya Channel 1 Haya hapo ndipo tunafikia mwisho ama tunalikunja jamvi la darubini ya channel 1 asante sana kwa muda wako tufanye vivi hivi wakati mwingine bila shaka nimekuwa hapa kwa niaba ya mwenzangu Serafina Robin naitwa Beatrice Getonyangeti mtangazaji wa ishara Lensa Odingo Tilio Marco na utabiri wa hali ya hewa Ni wasaa wa hali ya hewa katika muda wa saa 24 zijazo. Hujambo na karibu mtazamaji. Jina langu ni Tilio Marco. Maeneo ya Narok na Kericho ndio baridi zaidi leo usiku. Viwango vya joto vitafikia nyuzi 12. Wakati huo huo rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi 
zinatarajiwa katika maeneo ya magharibi Nyanza na baadhi ya sehemu za Rift Valley itakapotimu kesho asubuhi ni kwamba vipindi vya jua vitashuhudiwa katika maeneo mengi ya nchi kuanzia kaskazini mashariki hadi katika mwambao wa pwani hata hivyo kuna uwezekano wa mvua itakayopisha vipindi vya jua katika maeneo ya Kisumu, Nyeri na Meru itakapotimu majira ya lasiri ni kwamba vipindi vya jua vitaendelea kushamiri katika maeneo mengi ya nchi lakini rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi zinatarajiwa katika maeneo ya Kisi, Kisumu, Kericho, Nakuru, Eldoret na vile vile Kitale mwambao wa pwani vile vile kuna tarajiwa kuwa na mvua japo kutakuwa na vipindi vya jua tukiangazia viwango vya joto ni kwamba joto litafikia nyuzi 37 katika kaunti ya Garissa kaunti ya Nairobi na kili kati ya nyuzi 25 na 16 hadi hapo mtazamaji sina la ziada ila kuhitimisha utabiri wa hali ya hewa kwa sasa hadi kesho inshala na kuacha na utabiri wa hali ya hewa katika maeneo mengine duniani uwe na ndoto njema Vera Beauty College Vera Beauty and Fashion College with branches in Nairobi, Eldoret, Thika and Meru. Did you know that we are a Tibet approved institution? We offer courses in fashion design, interior design in soft furnishing, event decoration, flower arrangement, event planning, hairdressing, barbering and dreadlocks, beauty therapy, makeup, nail technology, spa massages, teaching skills, TOT, solo business management, and many more. Register now and visit our website on www.verabeautycollege.com. You can also call on 0725-923-550 Nairobi Branch, 0728-087-689 Eldoret Branch, 0722-227428 Thicker Branch, 0725-923-550. 000706 Meru Branch Vera Beauty and Fashion College a Tivet approved institution Tonight on KBC Channel 1 for a program that is objective and offers answers to matters economic, security, social, political, food, infrastructure and setting the agenda. Join us for Charging Currents. Eight-time CAF Champions League winner Salah Lee of Egypt inched closer to qualifying for the finals of the prestigious cup when they humbled twice champions while dad Casablanca by two goals at 2-0 in the first leg semi-final encounter played last Saturday in Morocco. You've got to be careful. Oh, it's an easy chance. This is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. It's in the back of the net. There's your goal. goal to make it 2-0 for Ali. Ali Malou, he slots it in, blasts into the corner. This Friday, the 23rd of October 2020, Allah